So this is 7.2, uh, multiplying and dividing rational expressions for Math 99. And um, let's just think of everything, these, these rational expressions, they're just fractions. So, um, so let's go ahead and deal with them that way. Let's just start with a fraction, something like uh, 5 eighteenths. We're going to go ahead and multiply that by 33 one hundredths. Um, now, we, when we multiply fractions, we can we can multiply just straight across. Uh, you multiply top times top and bottom times bottom. So this is the same as uh, five times thirty three over eighteen times a hundred. And now, um, what we could do is we could power this out. We could go like five times thirty three, and I'm grabbing my calculator to do that, uh, and it looks like one sixty five over eighteen times a hundred. That's eighteen hundred. And then we would have to reduce that. Uh, we would have to divide some stuff out of it. So, uh, whew. Um, I'm just doing some stuff on my calculator here. It looks like they're both divisible by 15. So I could divide this one by 15, divide this one by 15. This is just that simplifying like we were doing last time. Um, that brings us down to 11 over 120. That's now that's kind of the hard way to do it. Um, I'm gonna branch off right here. I like this five times thirty three over eighteen times a hundred. So if you remember from seven point two, uh, when we had some fractions that were like this, we could just um, factor everything and cancel out what we can, do some of the division. So five is five. I'm gonna think about what thirty three is. It's three times eleven. And if we think about 18, uh, let's see, that's 9 times 2, that's 3 times 3 times 2. And if we think about 100, uh, that's 4 times 25. Um, I'll just say that it's the same as uh, 5 times 20. And so notice what I've done here is I've broken it up into these pieces and now I can do some of this division. Five divided by five is one, three divided by three is one, and there's no more dividing I can do from there. So that would leave me 11 over three times two uh, times 20, which um, I'm just gonna multiply that back out. Notice three times two is six, times 20 is 120. So 11 over three is 20. So this idea of, of factoring what we can you know, just combining them, factoring what we can, and then uh, canceling, dividing out what divides out, and seeing what's left over. That's really all that there is to multiplying these. In dividing these, they're almost the same. There's, there's a little switch. Let me do a couple of uh, examples of, of multiplying. So if I had x minus 1 times x plus 1, and I'm going to multiply that by 5 over x minus 1. So notice that um, that multiplication right there, this is just like one big fraction, this times this over that times that. I, I could rewrite it as uh, x minus 1 times 5 over x plus 1 times x minus 1. And notice that the x minus 1 divides out, leaving me a 5 over x plus 1. I could have done it just here too, x plus 1 divided by x plus 1. Let me do one more example like this, and then we'll uh, we'll talk about division a little bit, and then do a bunch of examples. So uh, here's another one: four a squared plus four a over a squared minus twenty-five. I'm going to multiply that fraction by uh, a squared minus five a over. Um, Let's make it an 8a. All right, so what I'm going to do is, is factor everything that I can. So I notice that up here in this denominator, um, I can factor out a 4a. So I'm going to factor out a 4a. And if I do that, um, all that's left is here is an a, here a 1. And if I look at the bottom here, uh, that's the difference of squares, a squared minus 25. So that factors to a plus 5 times a minus 5. There, that is an ugly five. Uh, let me fix that. All 
it's not much better, times, uh, notice here I can factor out an a, so I end up with an a minus 5. 8a, not much I can do that. It's already pretty much factored. But now let me do some reducing. I notice that this a minus 5 and that a minus 5 cancel each other out. They divide out. I notice this a divides out that a. I also notice um, here with the 4 and the 8, 4, oh, that's awful, um, 4 goes into 8, but it doesn't exactly cancel it. The 4 if I divide it by a 4, that's a 1. If I divide the 8 by a 4, that's a 2. So now I'm just going to survey the record, wreckage, see what's left over. So in the top, I have an A times um, an A plus 1. In the bottom, I have a, a 2 times an A plus 5. Sorry. And that's what that would simplify to. Um, I'm going to have x squared minus 3x minus 10. And that's going to be over uh, x squared minus 4x minus 5. And I'm going to multiply that, that's multiplication, by um, x squared minus 2x minus 3 over x squared minus 4. Now, I know that um, multiplying is top times top, bottom times bottom with fractions. Numerators multiply together, denominators multiply together. What I'm going to do first is factor everything and just see what I can cancel out. So let me look at this one. Things that multiply to negative 10 and to negative 3 are negative 5 and positive 2. So this factors to x minus 5 times x plus 2. And if I factor this one, things multiply to negative 5 add to negative 4, um, x plus 1 times x minus 5. This is difference of squares. So x plus 2 times x minus 2. And then this numerator here, uh, things that multiply to negative 3 add to negative 2, x minus 3 and x plus 1. So you don't really have to write out this next step. I'm just doing it uh, for clarity. So notice that this factored to x minus 5 times x minus 2. This factored to uh, x plus 1 times x minus 5. x minus 3 times x plus 1. Hmm. That's over x plus 2 times x minus 2. So now let me see what cancels out. That divides out to a 1, something divided by itself. x plus 1 divides out. x minus 5 divides out. So notice that anything from the top is compared with anything from the bottom when this is multiplication. So that means what's left is a uh, x minus 3 over an x minus 2. Just for the record, we lost some information. x can't be negative 1, it can't be positive 5, it can't be negative 2. Um, other than that, this is equivalent to that. Let's do um, one more example with multiplication, and we'll talk about division. So x squared minus 16 over x squared minus 4x times uh, 3x plus 18 over ooh, xy plus 6x, plus 4y, um, plus 24. Now, um, remember my strategy here is just to factor everything, divide out what I can, see what's left. So, different squares here. Let me change colors just to make it a little more clear. Uh, so this factors to a... Uh, x plus 4 times x minus 4. On this one, I can just factor an x out. So if I divide out an x, I'm left with x times x minus 4. I already see some stuff that's going to cancel. 
Here I can factor out a three. These are both divisible by three. So a three, and that's going to leave me an x plus six. And then now this one, this one uh, is a little, little messy. I'm going to factor by grouping. I'm going to just do it down here. So xy plus 6x. I'm going to group the first two, and I'm going to group the second two. And uh, here I can factor out an x. So I could, if I take an x out of here, notice I'm left with uh, y plus 6. Here I can factor out a, uh, a 4. So notice I'm left with y plus 6 again. So now these both have a y plus 6. So I can factor out that y plus 6. So this is going to be y plus 6 times x plus 4. So now um, I could rewrite it like I did up, up here. Or I could just do my canceling here. Let's see, I have an x plus 4 divided by x plus 4 is a 1. Um, I have an x minus 4 divided by an x minus 4. It's also a 1. Let me rewrite what I have after I do that. In the top, I'm left with a 3 times x plus 6. In the bottom, the numerator, I'm left with uh, x times y plus 6. Now, it might be tempting uh, to cancel this out, this x plus 6 and this y plus 6. But they're not the same thing. Uh, this divided by that is not always a 1. It's not a 1. So this is going to be our answer. Notice we did lose a little information. x can't be 4. x can't be negative 4 as well because we'd be divided by 0 if they were. So let's go ahead and do some division now then. Now um, division, um, and I'll start with just number just like I did with, with multiplication. One thing, about, one thing I know about division of fractions Let's see, 3 fourths divided by 9 20 seconds. Uh, one thing that I know about division of fractions is it's just like multiplication. In other words, um, what I can do is I can take the reciprocal of the thing I'm dividing by and multiply. So this is the same as saying 3 fourths times 22 ninths. It's kind of interesting. It's like if I go 50 divided by 5, that's the same as 50 times 1 fifth. Think of the 5 as a, as a 5 over 1. So you can flip it and, and multiply. So that's why that's one reason. What's one way to think about why these are equivalent? So what I can do is I can take any division problem and just turn it into a multiplication problem by taking the reciprocal of the thing I'm dividing by and multiplying. So now I can just multiply. Top times top, bottom times bottom. Uh, let me think about the pieces here. I know that 3 is a 3. I know that 4 is 2 times 2. I know 22 is 2 times 11. And I know 9 is 3 times 3. So now what I can do is that division, 3 divided by 3, just like I was doing before, 2 divided by 4, uh, 2 divided by 2. And notice what I'm left with is um, 11 over 2 times 3, which is 6. Great. So um, let's do some examples that have some, some variables in them then. We'll get rid of these or maybe cause more. So if I had something like um, how about y squared minus 5y over uh, y squared plus 7y plus 12. And I'm going to divide that by y cubed minus 7y squared uh, plus 10y over uh, y squared plus 9y plus 18. So first thing I know is that this is just the same as multiplication. So essentially all I have to do is, is take the reciprocal or flip this thing in the back. So I'm going to write this as y squared plus 9y plus 18, and then y cubed minus 7y squared plus 10y. 
And notice uh, the first thing, the thing I'm dividing into, it is just going to stay as it was. It doesn't get flipped over. As I see some people do that sometimes. We don't want to do that because it's not the procedure. <laughs> Great. So now it's just a multiplication problem. We're just doing a bunch of these. So now all I have to do is just factor everything and see what cancels out. So factor out a y. Sorry. Pen is not wanting to cooperate. Um, here are things that uh, multiply to 12, add to 7, or 4, and 3. So this is going to factor to uh, y plus 4 times y plus 3. Um, here, things that um, multiply to 18 and add to 9. Oh, 6 and 3. And then here, um, notice like I can factor a y out first. I'll do a little scratch work over here. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. Do a little scratch work over here. I can factor out a y first. So that leaves me a y squared minus 7y plus 10. And then I can factor that. So I'm going to have a y times whatever this factors to. Uh, negative 5 and negative 2. Multiplies to 10 adds to negative 7. So y minus 5, y minus 2. Now, if I wanted to, I could I could rewrite the whole thing, uh, but I'm just going to cancel. And you know what? Maybe I won't rewrite the whole thing because I'm going to mess with it now. So this is going to be y over y minus 5. Uh, y plus 4 over y plus 3 times y plus 6 times y plus 3 over y times y minus 5 times y minus 2. All right, now I'm going to cancel out what I can. Uh, y divided by y is 1. y minus 5 divided by y minus 5 is 1. And uh, y plus 3 divided by y plus 3 is also 1. So I can look at what's what's left, what didn't what didn't have a, a pair that it divided out to 1 with. And I'm left with a, it looks like a y plus 6 in the numerator. And a, a y plus 4 times, times y minus 2. In the denominator. There it is. Whew. All right, let's do one more example with division. Remember that the key to division is just turning it into a multiplication problem and then doing what we were doing with, with multiplication. So I'm going to erase that and change that color just because I can, I think. 2a squared uh, plus 7a plus 3. I'm going to put that over a squared minus 16. And that's going to get divided by uh, 4a squared plus 8a plus 3 over uh, 2a squared minus 5a minus 12. And let me uh, flip it. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the reciprocal of the thing I'm dividing by, I'm going to turn that into multiplication. So this is going to be the same as times, and it's just the reciprocal flipped over. So uh, 2a squared minus 5a minus 12, and then in the denominator, 4a squared plus 8a plus 3. And then uh, the thing I'm dividing into, it doesn't change. 2a squared plus 7a plus 3, that's over a squared plus 16. And uh, let me factor everything. Um, oh, it wasn't plus 16, it was minus 16. Whoops. There we go. So this is difference of squares. 
So this factors to a plus 4 times a minus 4. Again, all that we're doing is just that same work that we did with multiplication. Factor everything, see what cancels out. Um, let's see, 2a squared plus 7a plus 3. I need to make that 7 somehow. So I want the 2 to multiply by the 3 because that will give me a 6. And then that will give me a 6a and that will give me a 1a. So there is my 7a in the middle there. Um, in this one, same idea. I'm going to split that 4a squared into a 2a and an a. And I want this 2a multiplied by the 3 because that gives me 6. And then if I had a 2a here, it gives me a 2. So 6a plus 2a is 8a. That gives me a 4a squared and a 3. Great. Um, and then trying to factor this one here. Ooh, boy. Um, 8 and 3. I want the, I'm going to split that, that negative 12 into a 4 and a 3. So I'm going to make this a 2a. I want it multiplied by the negative 4. Because that will give me a negative 8a. And if I add 3 to that, that gives me a negative 5a. And notice that multiplies to negative 12, multiplies to 2a squared. All right, let's divide out what divides out. 2a plus 1 divides itself out. Uh, 2a plus 3 divides itself out. a minus 4 divides itself out. Just about everything's gone. All that's left is an a plus 3 in the numerator and a, a plus 4 in the denominator. And there it is, all divided out. So again, when you do division, turn it into a multiplication by taking the reciprocal to the back. Give the, uh, give the problems in the book a try. Uh, send me some emails if you have any questions about anything. Good luck.